Hello people, in this video let us look at some dermatology scrambled words. You will have to unscramble them. Are you ready? Here's the first word guys. Go for it. What do you think this one is? A very easy one actually. It starts with an A guys. It's a common condition on the face people complain of. Yes, it is acne. Do you know that it is actually a, a problem of the skin appendages? Acne is problem with the sebaceous gland etc. Let's go to the next one guys. Here you go. What do you think this one is? You know, sometimes dermatologists save lives. Yes, it starts with a C. What do you think this is? Malignancy, cancerous. Yes, it is. Carcinoma. You have squamous cell carcinoma, basal cell carcinoma that is rodent ulcer etc. Right? So now let's go to the third question here. What do you think this one is guys? It is uh, starting with an S. It is a condition caused by itch mite. Scabies. Very good. Now let's go to the fourth one. What do you think this one? I think you guessed it already, isn't it? So basically where is it coming? In dermatology where is it coming? This condition. Let me give you a clue. It starts with I. So in dermatology, it's coming under some genetic can cause they are saying actually. So you have ichthyosis, vulgaris, X-linked ichthyosis, lamellar ichthyosis, so many ichthyosis actually. Okay, so I gave you the word already, ichthyosis, yeah. What do you mean by ichthyosis? So the skin will be rough, dry, scaly, like fish scales, right? Good. Let's go to the fifth one now. What do you think this is? Take a clue. It is starting with M. It's a very general word that you're telling you in dermatology, like papule, patch, plaque, like that. What is it? Macule. Very good. Look at this. Basically in the macule means how it will be like this it will be flat actually right so here you can see macule is any flat lesion macule will if it's large it will become patch elevated lesions is papule nodule vesicle bullae like that okay so macule is a flat lesion which is very small they have shown that here macule let's look at the sixth one what do you think this is Take a clue. It starts with P. Something bleeding kind of disorder. Yes. Petty K. Very good. Let's go to the seventh one. Do you want a clue? It starts with a C. Again, something to do with your um, acne, etc. Right? So the answer is Comedon. Comedons are um, inspissated plugs of keratin and sebum wedged in a dilated pilosebaceous orifice. Okay. So you have open comedon and closed comedon. Let's go to the eighth one now. What is this? It's very easy, I think. So starting with an E. Red, basically it means. Erythema. Very good. Let's go to the ninth one. What do you think this is guys? It's a condition, it's a disease, name of a disease caused by mycobacterium. Yes, leprae, starting with L, leprosy. Tenth one for you. What do you think this is? Take a clue. It begins with S. Something like hard, some hard skin, what do you say that? Scleroderma, very good. So you have finished 10. Great people, 10 done. Shall we continue people? What do you say? Are you liking it? Okay, take the 11th one guys. Where is it? 11th one guys I meant. Here you go, 11th one guys. Try this. Do you want a clue? 
starts with T. Something to do with blood. Right? Try it. Basically, this refers to permanently dilated visible small vessels in the skin. It can be because of many, many causes. It can be linear or punctate. The causes can be something like um, <coughs> rosacea, connective tissue disorders, right? Um, hereditary hemorrhagic, etc. What, what, what do you think we are talking about? Telangiectasia, right? Telangi, telangi ectasia. So, let's go to the 12th one, guys. What do you think this is? Um, starting with a T. It's something fungal. Tinea. Very good. Tinea. 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 Very good. Let's go to the 13th one. It starts with a K. Scar. After hypertrophic scar, you read about other scar. Keloid scar. It is crossing the margins. Right? Keloid. Very good. Let's go to the 14th one now. What is this? I think you can actually see the answer already, right? I mean, it's flashing in your mind. It starts with a V. Some kind of a disorder with melanocytes, is it? What's the answer, guys? Vitiligo. Melanocyte problem. Okay. Let's go to the 15th one now. What do you think this is? It starts with P. Louse, louse infestation. What is this called as? It's called as pediculosis, okay? So usually you know, right, when head lice comes for you and all, it's called as pediculosis, okay? Now let's go to this one. What is this? It starts with a T, where T is silent. It's a smear, zank smear. Why will you do zank smear? You will do it because for viral infections. Which virus? Herpes. Now let's go to 17th one. What is this? I think it begins with an M. Something to do with the sun exposed parts. Pigmentation. Especially women later in the age. Melasma. Very good. 18th one. Such a small word. Can you say what it is? <laughs> Starts with N. It's a skin uh, and it's skin and what? Appendage, is it? Nail. Very good. 19th one. It's the name of a disease. Starts with S. Sexually transmitted. Caused by Treponema pallidum. Bacteria. Syphilis. Very good. 20th one. It's just a common terminology for a very common condition. Any common condition is called as vulgaris. Very good. So you're done with 20 guys. Amazing. Shall we go to the 21st one, guys? How do you feel? Try this one. It starts with a P. Something to do with color. Pigmentation. Let's go to the 22nd one now. What do you think this is? It's uh, starting with E. It's a layer of your skin. And this itself has five layers within it, like corneum, uh, stratum corneum etc. What is it? Epidermis. Very good. What is uh, this one guys? M. Starts with M. Multiple like that. Multi. For me. Multiform. Eridima multiform. So many words you use that. Okay. Go here. What is this? It's a condition of the skin. Starts with E. So how under which category are you putting this? Usually, it is coming under diseases of cutaneous vasculature. There will be patches, eczema, okay? So, it can be because of immune system activation, genetics, etc. Now, let's go to the 25th one. What do you think this is? Do you want a clue? Starts with I. It's actually a cause for some skin conditions. Answer is 
insect bite okay insect you can see coming to 26th one i think this is not at all scrambled it starts with an n so it refers to any condition that is not so scary but it could be a melanoma so you should be careful so it's a navy very good n a e v i okay so when the scramble was done the software has not scrambled it that much now let's go to the 27th one what do you think this one is let's start with the p it's a treatment for many skin conditions so it is um called as PUVA or something right so soralen uva treatment something like that right so this is the one let's go to the 28th one now what's this oh you got guessed it right starts with an s skin now let's go to the 29th one what do you think this is do you want a clue guys it's actually two words the first word starts with e and the second one starts with n so what do you think this is erythema nodosum very good in leprosy also you have this condition isn't it erythema nodosum leprosum something like that okay so erythema nodosum can be caused because of bacteria fungus virus etc so many things are there drugs also it can be caused by miscellaneous other conditions like sarcoidosis also so it can be caused by so many conditions so it's a you should remember bacteria virus everything let's go to the 30th one what do you think this is i think it begins with an s and it is two words and j so what is it some allergic reaction steven johnson syndrome very good so you're done with 30 guys very good 30 done so now let's continue with um, a few more just a few more what do you say guys let's continue 31st one for you what is this very easy i am thinking starts with a p psoriasis so where does psoriasis come guys in uh, dermatology which condition does it come in which chapter it's coming under papulosquamous disorders okay now let's go to the 32nd one this is a treat uh, this is a diagnostic tool starts with w wood lamp very good let's go to the 33rd one what do you think this one is it is uh, starting with m and i think it's a condition of the skin so the answer here is morphia so autoimmune connective tissue disease they are saying it is okay so under scleroderma also you have something called morphia okay so morphia is actually an autoimmune disease that causes sclerosis they say let's move on to the 34th one what do you think this is guys it's uh, starts with a c again sexually transmitted caused by what i am guessing a bacteria so the answer is actually it's caused by haemophilus ducreyi so the answer here is chancroid very good let's move to the next question what do you think this one is guys last five guys just focus it starts with a u so more like a allergic reaction so answer is urticaria okay so how will you say what do you where, where will you classify urticaria abnormal vascular response so that is where they have put it in the chapters okay let's go to the 36th one guys are you ready last few guys focus focus just last few what is this one it starts with a p itchy itchy that's what it refers to 
pruritus. Very good. What is 37th one? What do you think this is, guys? It begins with a D. Something to do with the subject name itself. Yes, dermatitis. Very good. Dermatitis, etc. You can see even in Pellegra. Yes, you remember the four Ds. Diarrhea, dermatitis, dementia, death, etc. So, you should be able to rule out all those causes. Now, coming to 38th one. What do you think this is? Such a small word. You should be able to guess very easily. Again, it can be associated with fever, etc. And it can be dengue, so many things, right? Rash. Very good. Let's go to the 39th one. Just last but one we have. I think we already did this one. Isn't it? Starts with a V. I think we have already done this. Bitterly go. And go to this one. Okay, this is a treatment for vitiligo, etc. You just now saw this. It's called as um, Soralen Ultraviolet Radiation. So, what is it? Puva. Right? Soralen and Ultraviolet Radiation. This is UVA, isn't it? So, this is the treatment for some skin conditions. So, we have looked at so many dermatology words in this video. Hope you learned something, guys, by learning, uh, by watching this video. Bye-bye.